So here we are with Savannah and Josh, and they're going to demonstrate a two-player game of Matheno. Savannah is going to go ahead and deal out four cards to each player face down and four to the field face up. Josh is going to go first, and let's see what Josh has in his hand. A three, two, four, and a twelve. Three, two, four, and twelve. And on the table there's a three, seven, one, and one. Those ones are especially valuable because they have gems on them, which means those cards are worth extra points at the end of this deck. So what Josh is going to want to do is try to capture both of those ones in whatever way he can. How do you think you could do that with your four cards there, Josh? I'm thinking of adding the one to the three to get a four. Then I could either capture it with a four, or if I wanted to wait, I could times it by three and capture it with a twelve. Okay, so that's a way to try and use several cards. Good. Savannah, what do you have in your hand? I have a one, six, four, and five. Okay, so what could you do to try to maximize your capturing? I think that I could just capture both of these with a one. You could, and that would be a great move if you were going first. But since yeah. Josh is going first, you're probably not going to have that opportunity. So what else could you do uh, with your cards? Well, I could add a four and a three to get a seven, and that's not going to work. And then you could subtract your six to get a one. And well, I combine these first, so I have a pile of seven, then subtract six to get a one, and then capture it with my one. That would be a good strategy as well. Okay. So let's see how this goes. Go ahead and pick up your cards, and let's see what happens to the cards on the field as the players play their cards. So Josh is going to start out, since Savannah dealt. I'm going to add these two ones together. So it's building on two, and then capture it with a two. And there they go. So Josh was able to add the field cards because they were not build piles. They were all by themselves. All right. I am going to three, do 3 plus 4 is 7, and then combine these building 7s. Okay, because there was a lone, well, there was a 7 build stack that Savannah created and another 7 on the field. She was able to combine those values and just match them together. 7 minus 3, building on 4s. Minus 5 is negative 1, building negative 1s. And I'm going to capture it with a 1, because what I put out is an absolute value, so I can capture a negative. Okay. Discard my 4. And discard a 6. Okay, and that would end the first round of cards. Okay, so now we're going to start with the next hand of cards, and Savannah's going to deal out four cards to each player, but no more to the field. Josh, what did you get this time? I got a two, a nine, a nine, and a six. And do you know what you could do with those, Josh? I could combine any card out here that isn't on a build pile, times it by nine, and the sum of those digits will be a nine. And then you could capture it with your other nine. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And Savannah? I have 8, 2, 2, 10. And what could you do? I could combine the 6 and 4 and capture it with a 10. Or before I do that, I could put out an 8 and a 2 and combine those, both of them, so they're both piles of 10. Then I could capture all of them with a 10. Okay, so you've got a few different strategies as well. So let's pick up your cards and see how this goes. Josh, you're going to go first because Savannah is, is the dealer. This card is six. All right. I am going to lay out an eight. And I'm going to discard my two. Lay out a two. Or I'm going to do eight plus two is ten, building tens. Yeah. Okay, now let's pause for just a second here. Josh has played two of his cards so that he could get everything out on the field that he possibly could before he tries his nine strategy. Savannah, not knowing what Josh's strategy is, has just started to follow her own strategy and she's got one build pile out there. Now she could take on her same turn where she just combined 
played the 2 on the 8 and created a 10, she could also take the 6 and the 4 and combine those into a 10 and go ahead and match those on so top. So he can't steal them. Yeah, she doesn't know what Josh's strategy is, but she can go ahead and combine those cards into a pile of 10. So now Josh, on his turn, is going to go ahead and take those three remaining cards that are not built on and just move them all together into one stack and announce his move. Okay. I'm going to move the 6 plus 2 to get 8 and add a 12 to get 20. And then multiply by 9. Multiply by 9. Then add the digits, which will be 9, and then capture it with a 9 on my next turn. I'm going to capture that with my 10. And I'm going to capture it with my 9. And Savannah lays her last card out on the field. I'm going to add 5 to 2, building on 7. I'm going to build 7s too. I'm going to add 3 to 7, building on 10s. And I'm going to capture that with my 10. Discard a 10. Guess I'll discard a 1 then. Discard a 2. And I... Oh, I'll discard a 7. So there's two point cards out on the table. We've got a 1 and a 7. And next to those, a 10 and a 2. And Savannah's going to deal out four more cards. And those two point cards are going to be immediate targets. We'll see if Josh has an 8 or something. He could capture both of those in one move. Let's see if Savannah was kind enough to deal Josh an 8. Guess oh. not. Okay, Josh, it's your turn. I'll subtract 5 from 7, building on 2s. Now you could combine the other 2 on the table with that. Yes, I could. Savannah is not happy. No, I'm not happy. I will do 2 minus 10 is negative 8, building negative 8. Counterattack. <laughs> Discard 9. And now I'm going to capture this with my 8. Add 2 to 10, building on 12. Out of seven. And capture it with a 12. Savannah's going to deal out four more cards. And play will continue until this deck is exhausted. Let's pretend this is the last round of this deck. And go ahead and play this out. The last round is special because there might be cards left on the table. And in that case, whoever has made the last capture gets the cards that are remaining on the table. So Josh would again go first this round. I'll combine 7 and 1 to get 8, and then add 3, so it's building on 11s. I'm going to put out a 4. I'm going to match an 11. 4 plus 8 is 12, building 12s. Going to capture with an 11. And capture with a 12. Discard a 3. Doesn't really matter what Savannah does with this, since she's got the last capture, and this is the last card of the deck, she's going to capture or pick up all of the cards remaining on the field. 